Hey everybody, I'm Charlie. I play Luke and Julian the Phantoms. I'm also the lead guitarist. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Unsettling. Unsettling is like one of my favorite songs from the show because it means a lot to my character, but it also means a lot to me because it was uh, the most delicate song that I had to sing. But there's some fun aspects of this, just like we're going to be playing in the key of E. We're also going to be playing up here on uh, in this section of the of the neck, but it's just like what's fun about it is because we're in the key of E, you get to let your chords ring out while you're playing. You're gonna start off with an E, so on the seventh fret on your fifth chord, it starts with an E. And also to add a little bit of uh, that melody is you're gonna do your power chord, but make sure that your middle finger is on the same string as your pinky, which is the third for this chord here. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull off and put on, pull off and put on. And it's gonna give you like this little energy. So. All right, then you're gonna move up to a C sharp minor, which is just your index that has to move, your pinky and your ring finger, you need to stay the same. And if you wanna continue that melody, what you can do is you can add your index on the same chord as your pinky and let it ring off again. Which is basically just your pinky and your middle uh, and your ring finger. I don't do the bounce off on this one here. I just let it resonate with it. And then a B sus, and then a B. So a B sus. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep these chords the same. You're just gonna add your index over to the B on the sixth string, um, seventh fret, and then uh, you're gonna play that a bit, and then you do your classic. You come up so your B here is your um, you have your middle finger down on the third string but then you also have your two other ones playing that that classic power chord shape so let's give it a try right Chorus, you're gonna go down to AI 9. B sus. And then a B. Alright? Let's try that again. So it goes. If I could. Alright, and then you go down to the E. So you have the verse, you have the pre-chorus, now it's time for the chorus. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start off on an E, then you're gonna do a B sus, then you're gonna do a, a C sharp minor, and then the A minor, and you're gonna stay on the A minor. B sus. Okay, let's try it. Let's skip a little forward because we have everything that we need. Now it's time to get into the breakdown, which is the ah section. It's just the way that they're they're being played that's different, right? So you start off C sharp minor, B suspended, A, C, B, A, and then full B. Okay. So um, I'm not gonna sing it, but uh, it goes like this. I'm 
face The words I love you in replace And every time when I'm erasing me If you could only know Your right hand plays as much of an important role as your left when you're playing guitar. The delicacies, making sure that you're hitting every note, making sure that it's all resonating, but making sure that you're not hitting it too strong, the angle that you're hitting with. And that all comes with feeling. The more that you play, the more you're gonna start feeling it. But other than that, thank you so much for watching my tutorial of Unset Emily. Don't forget, you should probably check out Julian the Phantoms on Netflix. Thank you so much. Unset Emily.